That's right across from Wotherspoon. He was way too close to the goalkeeper, though. Right idea. Arneson. Vernon was there. He was trying to get the flick onto that. Chalali was also in the penalty area waiting for the long ball from Arneson. The flick came from Fallon. That's good play by Vernon. Picks out Milsom. Chalali ahead of him to his left, and that's where it goes. It is the Algerian. Not me even of turn out to be a cross, I'm sure Chalali was going for a goal initially Vernon at the back post Aberdeen have managed to get ahead of Hibernian in the SPL just in the last couple of games he put some daylight between them but this is the visitors, O'Connor, it was a great ball fantastic pass from Galbraith slid it through for O'Connor Ricky Foster. Well, that's awkward for Stack. Vernon got between the keeper and the ball. Just took the touch off Michael Hart, I think it was. Five is free kick. Oh, it's a poor clearance, and Ricardo can't take advantage of it. Well, it's really poor defending. You've got to see from Stevens. That's good play by Milsom away from the former Don, Michael Hart. Fallon! Well, Fallon couldn't find the target. Oh, right at the back post was Scott. Jason Brown equal to it, but Jimmy Scott in acres of space at the back end of the Aberdeen penalty area. Here's a five minutes of free kicks, not getting it. Vernon. Pollock. Oh, it's a good turn by the sub. Penalty. Ivan Sproul with a challenge. Pollock spun away from Paul Hanlon, his under 21 teammate with the national team. And Craig Thompson has deemed this a penalty kick. will be Scott Vernon against Graham Stack. Vernon scores again. Well, Hibs are unhappy with the award of the penalty. Ivan Sproul was booked for it as well. But Vernon puts Aberdeen in front in what is a crucial game at the bottom end of the SPL. Stevenson. Well, was he caught by Pollock, the referee? We won a word with Peter Pollock. It may be worse than that for the Aberdeen youngster. He's consulted with his linesman and it's red. It is a straight red for Pollock. Well, you could see why perhaps the straight red would come out had Pollock made contact with Lewis Stevenson. Here it is. Well, it seems harsh in the face of it. Ten men having to defend here, that's O'Connor. And that's wide. Again, look at the space at the back end of the Aberdeen box. Hanlon. I'm trying to take advantage of the fact they've got more players in the park. That's Soji! He should have scored. It should be 1 1. But it isn't. Soji out muscling Ricky Foster. Good turn. Finish wasn't there though. Hibbs will come again. Stevens, the big centre half. Oh, and he slides in on Chris Clark. Yellow for the Welshman. The Don's players are wanting a harsher punishment on Stevens. All hands to the pump for the high bees. Scott. But when he's in there, Galbraith. And that might be it. It looks like being it. Head and hands for Danny Galbraith. Had loads of space. 
Patchy, seem pretty frustrated by what happened this afternoon. Have you had a chance to have a look at the, the penalty incident? I think at the time you thought it was a bit of a soft award. I did. I thought it was soft, and I've watched it again. It's convinced me it's definitely not a penalty, you know, but not a lot we can do about it now. It uh, makes it a very tough afternoon when you think things like that go against you, I suppose. Yeah, I think in the run we're on at the moment, that's, things are going against us like that. We thought last week against Rangers, it'd be harsh as well, but... You know, hopefully that will turn around. We'll get one of them in the next coming games, and it'll, it'll change for us. You know, but we're disappointed. I thought we'd done enough to get something out of the game. You might well have had something out, out of the game late on as well. Saw you with a, a really good chance to give you something. Well, it was a good chance. You know, we wasn't loads of chances at both ends, but I think that's probably the best chance of the game. And uh, keeper said we should score from there. In terms of the other incident, when the Aberdeen player was sent off, you any any view on that? Have you seen that again? Hard, uh, from where I was, it's difficult, but it looked a little bit harsh, to be honest. I haven't seen that again, so um, I might comment on it probably clearer when I say it, but I thought from the, where I was, it looked a little bit harsh. In terms of the overall performance, plenty of fight, plenty of determination. Um, are those the positives that you take from it? Yeah, I think we've had that in the two or three, two and a half games we've been involved in, but you know we have to have a little bit of quality as well. We have to start scoring goals. You know, like I said, we haven't nobody's cut us open and we haven't conceded from play. But you know, that's a disappointing. We conceded off a corner and two penalties, so we got we got to create a few more chances and matches as well. Tough program coming up, of course. Every game hard for you at this stage. And what's it like in terms of the, the, the players' confidence? Because obviously you're coming into the situation. It's been a difficult time for them, and the results are still difficult. Yeah, it's a difficult time, but. You know, it's uh, you losing football matches. Confidence takes a bit of a battering, but I mean, we've got to realise where we are in the league at the moment. Everybody's livelihoods depend on winning football matches. And, you know, we've got to take that on board quickly and, and start to turn it around. Gary O'Connor booked for simulation today. Before you came in, he was involved in a well-highlighted controversial incident. Is that something you got to have a word with him about? Again, I, it's, you'd like to see that one again. I haven't seen it where he clipped him or he didn't. I didn't. At the time, it's difficult because it's so quick. But um, we'll have a look at him. We'll make a decision on it then, obviously. Uh, thanks for joining us. Cheers, thank you. Craig, um, su- successive victories. How do you assess that game today and your team's performance? Well, I assess the game positively because we've not been managing in recent games to get a gritty performance which would get a result when perhaps we don't play at our best. And I think that would be the case today. There was terrific attitude, great determination in the squad. and. Tremendous application to the task, and uh, I've got to give the lads great credit for that. Uh, I do genuinely believe that we've played better and lost games. I said that to you last week as well, but these are two recent performances where there's been a fighting spirit showing, which is shown, which is second to none. And uh, the attitude we've got in the dressing room, even when we're losing, and when there's all this publicity about us being at the bottom of the league, I never at any point let the heads go down, and neither did the players. So I think that's been proved the way they respond to adversity and there was adversity today we were up against it towards the end of the game and they battled very well Now before the game we had a discussion as to how many red cards Aberdeen had received you got another one during the game this afternoon I believe you've had uh, the opportunity to look at pictures post-match what's your interpretation of what happened and will there maybe be an appeal against it? Well we'll have a a consideration about that but what I would say to you is this that uh, the the discussion we had earlier, I was talking about straight reds and we were you were talking about double yellows, you know, uh, for a red. And that was a straight red uh, in the opinion of uh, Scotland's best referee, so I'm not going to uh, complain publicly about it. We'll have a look at it. The one thing I do believe, I spoke to Peter Paul, a nice young lad, and uh, there's no malice in him at all, and he said to me that Lewis Stevenson said that was never a red card. Now, that's the Hibs player telling our player, but it's easy when the players are off to say that. Uh, so... I don't know. I have looked at the picture, yes. I'd like to see it again and have a look at it in slow motion. Certainly in relation to other offences that I've seen, you know, there's an inconsistency because, you know, I've seen other uh, tackles like that and there was no contact, incidentally, but I've seen tackles like that where no red card, no foul's been given even. (laughs) And uh, so from that point of view, if that is considered to be, I don't know, I asked uh, Peter Pollock what the referee said he was sending him off for and he said he didn't tell him, he just sent him off. So we'll have to respect the decision and take it in the chin. I think the referee did it after consulting with the assistant referee on the other side and there's things about intent and all that. It's always difficult to judge what intent is though, isn't there? When a player goes into a challenge? I think so, and the assistant standing with the Hibs fans behind him having a bit a shout, you know, so, you know, the geography of the stadium is such that uh, the visiting fans here are uh, behind the, the assistant, the second assistant over there. 
And of course, when there's a shout from the crowd, it's quite easy. I'm not saying he was wrong. I'm, I would like to consider it. But I respect the referee. I did see him, his Hibs manager, having words with him coming off the pitch, which I thought is not supposed to be done. He's supposed to do that privately inside. He is, of course, new to the Scottish scene yeah. and maybe he hasn't got the message as far as that is concerned, but maybe no, he was still like... He was a fashion guy and, he, you know, he was going, he was complaining. And uh, I think He may well have been complaining about the penalty because the television picture seems to suggest that it was quite a soft award. Yes, well, I thought myself that uh, Peter Pollock was bowled over. He was knocked off the ball, there's no doubt about that. But it was a soft one, yes. I think if you look at it again anywhere else in the pitch, I think a foul would have been given. But it's a very harsh uh, penalty to give a penalty. Forgive me repeating the word, but uh, you know he was knocked. He was knocked. He was off. He was on possession of the ball, and he was knocked off the ball. And so therefore, it was a free kick or a foul. Well, again, you haven't you haven't had the benefit of seeing the pictures. <laughs> um, I, I believe that's maybe not quite entirely the case. Although there's no no um, suggestion of simulation, I don't think. But. We seem to spend a lot more time talking about referees' decisions than we do talking about football nowadays. Well, we had a goalkeeper who made a couple of excellent saves, and uh, we've got to mention that. We have a defence which had a clean sheet and stood up bravely to you know, uh, one of the leading scorers in Scotland, Gary O'Connor, and some very good play from Hibs. Uh, I think you know, if I were the Hibs manager, I wouldn't be too displeased with the way my team played because they played some good football. They kept the ball pretty well. And they didn't have any breaks in front of goal, but uh, our goalkeeper was secure and our, our defence, it was the, the replacement centre-backs played well, I felt. And uh, therefore we restricted Hibs to very few chances. But the main thing from the Aberdeen point of view is the battling performance. And if you've got a battling team, you've got a chance of winning every game. And we have a chance of winning every game to the end of the season if they battle like that. Certainly there seems to be a confidence in the squad. Rory McArdle said ahead of this game, if you were to win this game today, then really fourth place is now the target for Aberdeen. Well, I'm never going to say that, but we start the season, everyone says, what are your objectives this season? We say the top six. Now they are, but they're still remote yet. Yeah, we're a bit away from that. But uh, if we can battle the way we battled, then we get a break or two, which uh, you're telling me we got today, which we haven't had earlier in the season. For example, against St Mirren here, I thought we should have had two penalties. And we can neither. And that would have made a difference. But uh, I genuinely believe there's a fighting uh, quality in this squad. There's a transfer window coming up. We might manage to do something then. And hopefully the Aberdeen fans will have a happy 2012.